Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, we're gonna be checking out click interactions inside of Wix Studio. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in Wix Studio and I have this very simple section created, but if we come over to the inspector panel, head on over to interactions, then we could select on one of these items such as this image and we can apply a click interaction to it. So when we go ahead and press add, we can see there's a bunch of different presets that we can use, or we can actually switch over to a custom and create our own custom animation if we wanted to. This is typically the route that I go, but I'll show you that in just a few minutes. But for now, let's go ahead and check out the presets. So grow, shrink, skew, rotate, move, twist, fade, and appear. You guys can basically assume what these do. Just for fun, let's go ahead and use fade. We have it right now to on click, it toggles an effect on or off. So if we go ahead and press preview, if we go ahead and click on this image, it basically appears and unappears if we continue to click it. Not the best use case for why you would want to use a click interaction, but it is an example. And we can also do the same thing for move, but of course we can go into adjust and maybe adjust it slightly. Like maybe we want it to move to the right by a hundred pixels, something like that. And depending on what preset you choose, you're gonna have different options in the adjustment settings. So for example, we have move from the current position or into the current position. So this is the current position. So if we sell, say to move into the current position, but for now, let's go ahead and leave it in from current position. And once again, we'll set it up to move 90 degrees to the right by 100 pixels. And let's go ahead and just preview this. So it's very simple, but we can go ahead and preview it real quick. And anytime we click on the image, it's basically just gonna move back and forth to the position. And that's only because in the settings we have it to on click, it toggles the effect on and off. If we just say start animation or reset animation, it will basically just do it one time for basically one click. Toggle allows the user to be able to click it multiple times and undo and redo the animation over and over. But like I mentioned a few minutes ago, let's go ahead and add a custom animation. So we're gonna switch over to custom and say create custom animation. Inside of this, we're gonna have a bunch of different options. For example, we can have the background image go up and maybe we can lower the opacity a little bit. We can even add a border and we can even set the opacity of the border to let's say green. For the corners, maybe we can even round them a little bit more. So we'll set that to 48. We can even apply a shadow. So let's do that real quick. Then we can also translate it, maybe negative 12 pixels, negative 12 pixels. So it's gonna go up a little bit and that's kind of gonna make it appear with the shadow that it's coming off the website page a little bit. We could adjust the opacity of the image. We could adjust the rotation, maybe by setting it to negative five. Maybe let's make it grow to 105. And if we wanted to skew it, we could do that as well, um, but maybe not too much. So now once we go ahead and press done and we preview the website, anytime we click it, it just applies this really cool effect. And you know, this again is not the best use case for what you might want to use this for. It's just kind of showing you the different things you can do with these click interactions. And of course, depending on the item that you have selected on your canvas, you might have different presets as well. So for example, um, we have all the same ones as we did for image, but for this one, we also have color. So if we go into adjustments, we can of course change the color to something like this. We can change the duration delay and ease properties, and then we can preview it as well. But yeah, that's basically all you really need to know about click interactions, and I'd be interested to see what you guys do with them. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.